Every developer I know has tried to build a side project or a startup idea, but 99% of them fail and never finish what they started. When you have an idea, it is important to act on that first spark of excitement and get things moving quickly. It is this momentum, not excitement or inspiration, that is going to carry you across the finish line. The problem is that developers often get stuck or spend too much time on necessary but boring features like user login, permissions, user management, and so on. These features are needed for most apps but aren't really fun to build and can make you less excited about your project. Because instead of working on your main idea, you end up spending time on things like email validation, setting up social logins, coding up user management, and so on. Now, what if I told you that there is a way to add user login, profiles, avatar, and much more to your application in five minutes or less? By getting those features out of the way, you can focus on building your idea and keep the momentum going instead of getting stuck on the boring parts, which is exactly what I'm gonna show you today. Stick around until the end of this video and I will walk you through these very simple steps to add a complete user authentication system to your application in record time. The first step is installation. To do that, go to clerk.com, click on the sign in button and sign up for a free account. Immediately after, you will be asked to name your application and customize your sign in box. I will name mine my awesome idea and enable email, phone number, Google and GitHub as authentication methods. There are tons more to choose from, but let's keep it simple for now. After clicking on the create application button, we will see instructions to install the clerk SDK. I will use the next.js option and copy the command to install the clerk next.js SDK. Then I will copy the environment variables and paste them into my local AMV file. Then at record speeds, I will copy the middleware code and paste it into my middleware.ts file. All we are doing here is creating a clerk middleware and saying that we don't want it to check requests for static assets like HTML, CSS, JavaScript files, but we want it to check requests for the rest of the application, including slash API routes. And to complete the installation, I will install the clerk themes package because I like dark mode. The second step is the setup. In the layout file of our application, I will add the Clerk provider components so that we can use Clerk's API across our entire application. And we will also configure it to use dark mode. Then I will create a header where if the user is signed out, they will see a sign in and sign up button. And if the user is signed in, they will see a user button, which is a component you will love when you see it in action. These components, apart from the button, are all provided by Clerk ready to import and use. Now let's run the application and see what we have so far. Because I'm logged out, I can see the sign in and sign up buttons. I will click on the sign up one since I don't have an account yet and I will log in with GitHub to test it out. After confirming my phone number, I am then redirected back to the homepage and this time in my header, I can see the user button. I can click it to see my avatar, GitHub username and links to manage my account and to sign out. If I click on the manage my account link, I can see my profile page where I can change my email add phone number, connect social accounts, and even upload an avatar. I can even see my active devices and can delete my account. All that comes out of the box with Clerk. Absolutely insane. But we're not done yet. The next step is customization. Because I'm not a fan of the purple color, we're going to go to the Clerk dashboard, click configure, then account portal and customization to select the primary and background colors I want. We can go back to our application, click on the user button, log out, click sign in again and see that the colors have changed. Most applications need their users to agree to their privacy policy and terms and conditions before they can use the app. And Clerk knows that. If we click on legal, we can enable that requirement and paste the URL of our terms of service and privacy policy. Back in the sign in page, we can see that the terms of service and privacy policy are now required. Even if I don't check that box and try to sign in with a social provider, Either, clerk will ask me to agree to the terms of service and privacy policy after the redirection. The next step is protection. We will now create a dashboard page that should only be accessible to signed in users. And we will learn how to protect it with the clerk middleware we created earlier. After creating the dashboard page, even if I log out and navigate to it, I'll still be able to see it, which is not what we want. To fix that, in my middleware.ts file, using the create router matcher function, I create a matcher for all the pages that I want to protect. Using this pattern, for example, I can protect all the dashboard pages, slash dashboard, slash dashboard settings, slash dashboard profiles, etc. I could even add more routes to the matcher if I wanted to. Then in the middleware, 
all I have to do is check if the user is going to a protected route. And if it is, I will just call auth protect and let Clerk handle the rest. Now, as a logged out user, if I try to navigate to the dashboard page, I won't be able to. And if I log in, I will have no problem accessing it. Awesome. As a tiny extra, if you wanted to greet the user in the dashboard page, you could use the current user function that gives you the information about the currently logged in user, including their name, email, avatar, and so on and so forth. The amount of features we just added to our application in such a short amount of time is insane. We added login, signups, profiles, social logins, terms of service requirements, protected pages, and a whole lot more, all in just a few minutes. The last step, and that's only when you are ready to deploy your application, is to go to the clear dashboard and click on create production instance. Doing that will copy all the settings we have in our development instance, but it will also give us a new set of environment variables to use in production. We will also have to register and set up all auth apps for each social provider we want to use in production. And we're done. As if things couldn't get any better, Clerk's pricing is super sweet. In Clerk's free plan, you can have up to 10,000 monthly active users without paying a dime. After that, it's only two cents per active user per month. Understanding the monthly active user metric is very important. If someone creates an account in your app and they never come back, they don't count towards your monthly active users. You don't pay for them. Now, if someone logs in in June for a couple of times, they will be counted as an active user for June. But if they don't log in at all in July, you don't pay a cent for them. And again, you only start paying after you have 10,000 monthly active users, which is a lot of users. Apart from the features we saw today, Clerk has tons more, like brute force protection, bond protection, organization management, disposable email address detection, and many, many more. You can also customize anything you want. You could remove Clerk's branding, show the login boxes as models and not pages, add your own logo, change email templates, and so on and so forth. Using Clerk saves you time and puts you closer to the finish line so that you can finish what you started and share your ideas with the world. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching as always. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.